Hi everyone, today I'm going to explain this new sample bot. Uh, it's called Web2XL Demo. So this bot is, what it's doing is it's actually taking information from this website, web scraping from this website, and the updating uh, Excel sheet. So this website has a table right here. It contains the uh, NASDAQ stock prices. So this gets updated uh, every day. Actually, this gets updated real time. So my bot is going to access this web website, get the information from this table, and it's going to uh, uh, give me a report as to the update on the price. So my report looks like this. Look like this. So I have a, a column A is a ticker symbol, and column B is the uh, company name, and uh, C is the uh, report from yesterday, and the D from report from the day before yesterday. So the bot, uh, when I run it in a few minutes, it's going to add a new column here and it's going to give me the uh, close uh, prices on August 19, today's August 19. So that's uh, what this bot is going to do. So let me explain the bot. Now uh, the bot, bot looks like this, right? Uh, there are five steps. First step is the initialize step. Initialize steps, three operations. I'm grabbing a timestamp from the system and the timestamp is not really giving me time. It's actually giving me just date in this format. I chose this format and then it stores in this variable time. And then uh, second operation is just adding one new column, inserting a column for my latest uh, prices. And the third one is actually adding, just adding a header to this new column. So I have a C1, that's going to be a new column. And then I'm adding close on this uh, date that I obtained from this timestamp operation. Uh, step number two, this is the uh, web scraping step. Very simple actually. I'm actually directly going to uh, this uh, website using this URL and extracting HTML just one operation, very quick, uh, very simple. And uh, this is going to be actually stored in this uh, text file. Inside is HTML, but I'm storing that into a text file and I'm using string manipulation. This is actually a plugin that uses the uh, regular expression technology. I'm using two string manipulation to extract the data I want from the entire HTML. Step number three. So this is stock exchange. So, you know, uh, sometimes new company, uh, they go IPO and they get added. Sometimes uh, company get removed for various reasons. Uh, so I'm actually having this uh, step to check the uh, symbol. So symbol means uh, the sticker symbol right here, right? Uh, symbol, if there is any update, uh, I'm actually uh, uh, using a different methodology to update this report and uh, let me show you that. So checking if there's an update or not update, right? So I have this compare value to make the decision and uh, uh, if no update, I go to this uh, step right here where I can just grab prices from the uh, new CSV and then uh, pasting it to the new column on the report. And this one right here is actually uh, uh, converting, uh, when, when I do the pasting of prices, it actually becomes a, a string at the uh, new report. So I'm using Excel Advanced 3, which has this feature right here, converting string to numbers. Uh, and then I'm going to convert that to a number, right? Now back to my uh, symbol uh, comparison. So compare value, if there is an update, I come to uh, go to, which takes me to this right here, uh, this, uh, this right here. And uh, what this is going to do 
is uh, it's going to be using a repeat loop and then it's actually uh, using a uh, okay this this is the one it's actually using this V lookup to make sure that the, you know the prices are going to be uh, entered into the right uh, row which has a right ticker symbol so I'm running the repeat loop uh, which is going to be more time consuming than just pasting it but uh, you know because uh, there's an update to a ticker symbol we uh, we have to uh, choose uh, uh, the lookup uh, loop so that's uh, being uh, done here and finally um, this one just uh, one operation uh, to open the final Excel sheet so let me just close this Excel sheet and then um, I'm going to run this block again everything is being done in the background so I can actually you know um, continue to work on my PC while this bot is running and uh, by the way this bot is going to be stored here in this free sample bot warehouse so um, if you want to just grab it uh, it's going to be packaged with the uh, sample Excel report so uh, really minimum calibration uh, you, you is required for you to run the bot on your PC okay gave me the successful result and there we have uh, numbers from today thank you so much enjoy your automation